Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. brothers and sisters in Christ, today we celebrate the solemnity of the beheading and martyrdom of St. John the Baptist. So let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, bless us with the wisdom to praise you in spirit and in truth, so that by following your holy will, we may gain eternal salvation. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, let us take a moment, confess our sins to God in ways that we have failed him and our neighbor in thought word, deed, and omission, so that we may worthily participate in this holy sacrifice. Please now make an examination of your conscience. Say together the second form of the Confidier found on page 66. I confess to Almighty God in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault, in my thoughts, in my words, and what I have done or failed to do. I ask the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. For your penance, I would ask you to say one Our Father and one Hail Mary. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me, I absolve you from all of your sins in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Herod was the one who had John arrested and bound in prison. Herod feared John, knowing him to be a righteous and holy man. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christ eleison, Christ eleison, Kyrie eleison. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Lord our God, as we mark the death of St. John the Baptist, the forerunner of your Son, may we heed his call for the rejection of sin and rededicate ourselves to emulate Jesus Christ our Lord. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The word of the Lord came to me thus, gird your loins, stand up and tell them all that I command you. Be not crushed on their account, as though I would leave you crushed before them? For it is I, this day, who have made you a fortified city, <coughs> a pillar of iron, a wall of brass against the whole land, against Judah's kings and princes, against its priests and people. They will fight against you, but not prevail over you. For I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response is, I will sing your salvation. 
I will sing your salvation. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Rescue me and deliver me. Incline your ear to me and save me. I will sing your salvation. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. For you are my rock and my fortress. O oh my God, rescue me from the hand of the wicked. I will sing your salvation. For you are my hope, O Lord, my trust, O God, from my youth. On you I depend from birth. From my mother's womb, you are my strength. I will sing your salvation. My mouth shall declare your justice, day by day your salvation. O God, you have taught me from my youth. Until the present, I proclaim your wondrous deeds. I will sing your salvation. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are those who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. May Almighty God cleanse my heart and my lips, so I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Herod was the one who had John the Baptist arrested and bound in prison on account of Herodias, the wife of his brother Philip, whom he had married. John had said to Herod, it is not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. Herodias harbored a grudge against him and wanted to kill him, but was unable to do so. Herod feared John, knowing him to be a righteous and holy man, and kept him in custody. When he heard him speak, he was very much perplexed, yet he liked to listen to him. She had an opportunity one day when Herod, on his birthday, gave a banquet for his courtiers, his military officers, and the leading men of Galilee. Herodias' own daughter came in and performed a dance that delighted Herod and his guests. The king said to the girl, Ask of me whatever you wish, and I will grant it to you. He even swore many things to her. I will grant you whatever you ask of me, even to half of my kingdom. She went out and said to her mother, What shall I ask for? She replied, The head of John the Baptist. The girl hurried back to the king's presence and made her request. I want you to give me at once, on a platter, the head of John the Baptist. The king was deeply distressed. But because of his oaths and the guests, he did not wish to break his word to her. So he promptly dispatched an executioner with orders to bring back his head. He went off and beheaded him there in the prison. He brought in the head on a platter and gave it to the girl. The girl, in turn, gave it to her mother. When the disciples heard about it, they came and took his body and laid it in a tomb. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today we commemorate a very sad, sad day in Christian and indeed world history. A righteous man, because he spoke the truth, was killed because of the wife of a king who took advantage of a situation. Very, very sad. But John the Baptist did not hesitate to speak the truth to anybody. To anybody. In fact, we could say he was probably the second Christian right after Mary. When Mary went to Elizabeth's house, if we remember, John slept in his womb in the presence of the Savior. He was the first outside of the Holy Family to recognize the Son of God. So of course he preached the truth, right? But I dare say, looking at not only John the Baptist, but many of the early Christians, the, from the apostles to the first two centuries, first three centuries, really, who were persecuted and did not back down. By comparison to them, 
we Christians in the 21st century are worse. Dare I say, we do not even deserve, probably, the moniker of Christian. Yes, we profess a belief in Christ and the Trinity, but we look at what we've allowed to happen in our lifetimes, in our lifetimes. Have we spoken up against at will divorce? Not to say all divorces are unnecessary, but at will divorce. Have we spoken up against artificial contraception? Have we spoken up against abortion? Have we spoken up against same-sex marriage? Have we spoken up against this transgender insanity that's going on right now? Have we spoken up? No. Why? Why don't we? We know what the church teaches and has always taught for 2,000 plus years now. Why do we not speak up? Because we're afraid. Brothers and sisters, wasn't John the Baptist afraid? Weren't these early martyrs afraid? Yes, they were. But their faith overcame that fear. Why doesn't ours? I think that's a question that we all have to ask ourselves. Why don't we speak up when we're told we can't publicly worship? Why didn't we speak up? Why didn't the institutional churches speak up? Why? It's a question to ask. Why? Why? And I think the more we re reflect on that, especially in our own selves, the more we can address those core reasons why we didn't. Brothers and sisters, a day is coming again soon where we may be faced with something similar to what happened three years ago. I pray it doesn't come, but the winds are blowing where we may be forced faced with stopping public worship again. Are we going to give in? Or will we stand up, speak the truth, just like John the Baptist, just like the apostles, just like the early Christians? Yes, with fear, but with courage to overcome that fear, with fortitude wisdom, counsel, understanding that comes only through the Holy Spirit. We preach the ability of the third person of the Trinity, the truth of the second person of the Trinity, Jesus Christ. But brothers and sisters, we have to make our decision on what side we're on. Are we on the side of evil or are we on the side of we're silent on the side of evil. And we all have to look at ourselves and have answers to questions of why we haven't stood up so far. And going forward, what our decision will be. Will we be strong Christians like John the Baptist, like the apostles, like the early martyrs under persecution? Or Will we be wimpy and give in to the devil? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us now turn to page 71 and say together the creed that unites us as Christians. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. 
He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. Trusting in God, who is our source of love that is eternal, we bring him our prayers of petition, and our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For Prime Bishop Anthony and all clergy, that their wisdom and witness may guide the faithful to lives of greater holiness, service, and courage, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders of nations, that they may act to alleviate the suffering of those affected by devastation, war, and poverty, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For our families, that our homes will be places of prayer, unconditional love, forgiveness, and generosity, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all of the ill, especially those on our parish prayer list, that they may be brought to health and wholeness through the mercy of Christ, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For the unspoken petitions we hold deep in the silence of our hearts, those who are separated from Christ and his church, that the Holy Spirit may touch them and bring them home, which is our mass intention today. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died and those who will die today, that they may know the joys of heaven, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, hear our prayers and help us to face the challenges of daily life with confidence in your love and protection. May us all these things, both spoken and unspoken through your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. John answered and said, No one can receive anything except that which has been given him from heaven. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for you have given us this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. May it become for us the bread of life. For the mystery of this wine and water, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands, may it become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Come, Holy Spirit, and bless the sacrifice which we have prepared for the glory of your holy name. Lord, wash away my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sin. Receive this offering, most holy Trinity, which we make in memory of the passion, resurrection, and ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ, and in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints. May they whose memory we honor on earth intercede for us in heaven. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the benefit of his holy church. Almighty God, we ask you to accept these gifts we place before you on the solemnity of St. John the Baptist, the herald of your Son in both life and death. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, 
We do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Your servant, St. John the Baptist, was baptized in the, into the body of Christ and following our Savior, offered up his own life as a testament of faith in the promised resurrection. By maintaining his faith in the presence of violence and death, St. John the Baptist gives, church, gives the church courage to be a faithful witness standing against the evils of this world. Therefore, with the angels and archangels, with all the saints in the entire church, we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy sacrifice of the Mass will continue with Eucharistic Prayer 4, which is found on page 88 if you're following along. Blessed are you, Lord of all majesty and King of eternal glory, through your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. In him, your word was made flesh. In him, the fullness of your grace was revealed in splendor. In all things, he fulfilled your will and glorified your name. He proclaimed your kingdom to us. He broke the power of darkness over us. He took our guilt upon himself. He reconciled us to you and unlocked the new paradise for us. As the way, the truth, and the life, he has revealed your love to us. He humbled himself and became obedient even to death on a cross and by rising restored our life. On the night in which he was betrayed to undergo that suffering which he himself had chosen, he took bread into his hands, looked his eyes to you, his heavenly father, he gave thanks. He blessed the bread, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which is given for you. When supper had ended, he took the cup and gave thanks to you. He blessed it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. Together, your death, Lord Jesus, we proclaim. Your resurrection, we celebrate. Your return in glory, we await. Therefore, Father, we remember his saving passion, his glorious resurrection, his exaltation at your right hand. We await his coming in the fullness of majesty. We here set forth the sign of our faith in him who offered you the perfect sacrifice and gained for us eternal salvation. Send your Holy Spirit, the giver of life and holiness, upon us and upon these gifts the bread and wine of eternal life. Together, Holy Spirit, come to us. Fill us with your gift of grace. Take these gifts from our hands, Lord God, as an acceptable sacrifice through which we offer ourselves to you <coughs> so that the bread which we break and the cup which we bless may be a sharing in the body and blood of your Son. May all who receive from your heavenly altar always remain united with you, together with all your saints and chosen ones, with the blessed and glorious Virgin Mary, the mother of our Lord, with St. John the Baptist, whose memory we keep today, with your prophets and apostles, with your martyrs and confessors, and with all who stand about your throne in praise and prayer. Bless your church throughout the world, grant it unity and peace. Renew the earth according to your promise. Remember all peoples, and grant that all nations may give you thanks, worshiping and praising your holy name. We ask this through your, Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory are yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray, instructed by our Savior's teaching and following divine example. We say with confidence, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our day. 
In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. A cup of blessing, which we bless, is it not a sharing in the bl blood of Christ? Bread, which we break, is it not a sharing in the participation in the body of Christ? Because there is one bread, we who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one bread. May the union of divinity and humanity in Jesus Christ bring us sanctification and eternal life. Amen. Lord, Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Do not look at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. On you stay, qui tollis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, qui tollis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, qui tollis peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Let's say together the first communion prayer found on page 97. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free me from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me faithful to your teaching and never let me be parted from you. I will take the bread of heaven and call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring me to everlasting life. Christ, bring me to everlasting life. Join me now in the act of spiritual communion. Most loving Jesus, I adore you in the most blessed sacrament in which you are truly present. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart and heal my soul. I embrace you and unite myself with you. May I never be separated from you. Inflame my heart with the fire of your love, my Lord and Savior. Amen. Lord, may I possess with a pure heart that which I have taken as food. May the gift I have received bring me healing and strength now and forever. And you, child, will be called prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his ways. Let us pray. Lord our God, in thanksgiving for this communion we have received, let your church rejoice in the life of St. John the Baptist, who by his death achieved the crown of life and bore witness to the saving death of Jesus Christ. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please join me now in the prayer of St. Michael. Holy Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, Cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Join me now in prayer for peace with the prayer of St. Francis. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there's hatred, let me sow love. Where there's injury, pardon. Where there's doubt, faith. Where there's despair, hope. Where there's darkness, light. And where there's sadness, joy. 
my master, grant my may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love, for it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, thank you so much for joining us for our Holy Mass today. I pray for your family today. Stay safe, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Remain in the state of grace. Fight evil wherever you find it. Spread joy wherever you go. Faith of our fathers living still in spite of dungeon, fire, and sword. Oh, how our hearts beat high with joy whene'er we hear that glorious word. Faith of our Father's holy faith, we will be true to thee till death. Our fathers chained in prison's dark were still in heart and conscience free. How truly blessed would be our fate if we like them should die for thee. Faith of our Father's holy faith, we will be true to thee till death.